In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can avoid using the delay function in Arduino so you can make sure that your code is not blocked and this will also open the door for multitasking. Okay, and we are going to start with the simplest possible example. Okay, so that would be very easy to understand. This is the blink LED example. Okay, so we define an LED pin. We use pin mode to set the LED uh, pin as output and then we alternate between digital write high and low to power on and power off the LED. And of course this is what we want to change here, the delay, so delay 500 here between the two states. So the problem here is that when you use delay, your program will be stuck there for 500 milliseconds. You can't do anything else. Okay, so let's say you have two LEDs that you want to blink at two different rates. That's not going to be possible using the delay like that. If you want to read from a sensor, if you want to do anything else, well, if you have a delay like this for 500 milliseconds, well, everything is going to be super late and you won't be able to process many actions at the same time. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to rewrite that so that we don't use the delay uh, function and that the functionality stays exactly the same, okay? And so I'm first going to remove all of that, okay? Instead of using the delay, what we are going to do is we are going to use the time functionality. So for example, with millis, so we can get the current time and we are going to store simply the last time we have blinked the LED. And every time we enter the loop, we're going to check the difference between the current time and the last time we have blinked the LED. This is a duration and we are going to compare this duration with a value we want, for example, 500 milliseconds. So let's start this. I'm going to create here a global variable unsigned long last time LED blinked and I'm going to initialize it to let's say millis which is zero at the beginning of the program okay so this name is quite explicit we're going to store the last time the LED has blinked and I'm going to create another one and sign long blink delay Okay. You can name it uh, delay between blink or blink delay or just use a meaningful name. Okay, I'm going to use 500 because that's what we had in the delay. Okay, so this value is what you want to wait okay, between uh, different states of the LED. So now in the void loop, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do unsigned long time now is equal to minutes. So the setup doesn't change, okay? We set the mode for the pin, and then in the void loop, every time we enter the void loop, we get the current time, okay? So this doesn't take much time to execute. So we get the current time, and then we do if time now, so of course with parentheses, minus last time LED blinked, so we compare the current time and the last time we have made the LED blink. Okay, if you uh, subtract two times, this is going to give you a duration. And you're going to check if that duration is greater than the blink delay. So this basically means that the if will be true only if we have waited at least 500 milliseconds since the last time we have made the LED blink. So now I can enter that if, and in that case, I'm going to do now two things, okay? I'm going to toggle the LED state, and I'm also going to, so this is important, to update last time LED blinked. So I can update it to time now, for example, which means that this is now time now. So the next time we enter the void loop, this is not going to be greater than 500, okay? Because the last time LED blinked was just set to the time now, okay? So you will have to wait at least 500 more milliseconds so that this condition is true again. So with just this block of code, we nothing to do with LEDs for now, with just this block of code, you can execute an action 
every 500 milliseconds okay and that's going to be the same block of code for any action you want okay so that's kind of a template here and now of course well we are not just going to create a block of code that is going to uh, so we are not just going to enter that if every 500 milliseconds for nothing we are going to toggle the LED state and before that what we did is to use digital write with high and with low. Thing is that now we can't just say digital write high or low because we need to kind of know the preview state for the LED, okay? We need to toggle between high and low. So we need to keep, I'm going to keep with byte LED state. Let's put low uh, by default. I'm going to keep the state uh, for the LED and in that if I'm simply going to do another if if LED state is equal to low Then we set LED state to high. Okay, make sure two equal for comparison one for variable assignment else LED state is equal to low So we just toggle the uh, value for the LED state here. So when 500 milliseconds has passed, what we do is we check if the LED state was currently low. In that case, we set it to high. If it was not low, basically it means it was high and so we set it to low. And after that, if what I'm going to do, I'm going to do digital write LED pin with LED state. So now is the time to write digital write and we are going to apply the new state for the LED. So high or low and we are going to power on or power off the LED. And well, that's it. So maybe this code is a bit more complicated than just writing delay okay, for one action. But then with that code, you can just use uh, this here with those uh, two variables here as a template for any action you want to do with Arduino. Okay, so you just need to understand it once. That's maybe the hardest part is to understand it the first time. And then it's always the same. So you just repeat it as much as you need. So for example, let's say you have another action you want to do. I'm going to put it there. Unsigned long, let's say last time action. I'm just going to name it action okay, for anything you want. Is equal to millis unsigned long, uh, let's say action delay is equal to, let's say you need 678 milliseconds, okay? What you can do now is, so in the void loop, you have, you get the time now, and then you do the first action. So this is basically a blink LED, okay? Now what you simply need to do, so you are not going to change anything of that first action, you're simply going to, so let's say action, you are simply going to do if time now, so you can use the same time now as here because this is not blocking anything, this is going to be very fast. So at that point of the program here, the time now will be uh, the same. Minus last time action is greater than action delay, Okay, you enter the if, what you can do is action, uh, so last time action is equal to time now. All right, and do the action. All right, and this is the same block of code as here, and then do the action. Well, you can uh, do the whatever action you want. You can create another function to call, etc., etc. And for each new action you want to do, you just need to repeat that. So you create two new variables, and then of course you get the time in the loop at least once, and then you use this structure to execute the new action, and all of the actions are going to be executed so fast that it's just like you are multitasking your Arduino. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn Arduino step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Alright, thank you for watching, see you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.